fish picks this up, the minute he strikes, that's going to pick it straight up. You get what I mean? It's called a rotten bottom rig. It's a pulley rig. A lot of people like this. Could you hold that for me? Jack? Because it also <coughs> allows you to cast, which is a very popular rig on the East Coast, a rig for... Um, Flesh. What they used to call, what they call that damn rig where the fish can run with it. Fish, fish finder rig. A fish finder rig. So basically, here, here's this concept again. The is a UK really design. <laughs> right? That fires off. All right? But it's got a nice lot of play here. The fish can come along, pick it up, and run before he actually feels the strike. A lot of people are also under the misconception that when they're fishing a rig off the beach, that the line is like that. It's not. You know, there's a, that's what it's like. It's just like that. It's just laying right on the damn bottom. Because you can't, the percentage of angle you're getting on a good cast, and you can't. If you can't, leave it out there too long, it will become completely covered with sand to the point that you can't get it back. And you will break your line trying to receive, retrieve your leader. This brings me on to another little subject. This is flora card, right? A lot of people come in the shop and they'll want a flora. I had one guy that wanted to load his whole reel up with flora card. Yeah, who was that? What was it? Yeah, wanted to buy, wanted the whole lot of flora card. It was uh, Cornelius, and I said, "You're wasting your time." Well, said, that kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Cornelius does. <laughs> but it did remind me of. That I wanted to mention, me personally again, I only use fluorocarbon when I'm plugging on like top waters and things like that. On a bait rig, I don't bother with it at all. I don't know about you, Billy, what do you feel about that? If I'm tarpon fishing, I'm using fluorocarbon. Are you using it for abrasion resistance? I'm using it for abrasion resistance. Okay. If yeah. I'm marlin fishing, I'm using fluorocarbon, 200 pounds. Ahead. Right. So there's, a, there's that advantage, but as to the advantage of it being seen, I don't it think... It don't amount to hell it's yet. No, and Absolutely. there's down in Florida, I remember I was doing a seminar down there on the pompano fishery, and someone informed me that my rig wouldn't catch pompano because they could see it. And also, my singers weren't any good because they weren't painted pink. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out... You bitch. <laughs> yeah. actually hey. he, he told me that you've got to have a fluorocarbon to the hook and the sinker had to be pink. And I was trying to figure out of what part the fish could see and couldn't see this other bit. I've never yet found a fish worried about approaching a wreck or, or anything on the beach, a tin can or anything, let alone a rig like that. It's not going to scare a fish off. Mm -hmm. I can see, however, that using like a top water plug or something, or a worm lure that, fluorocarbon does allow the bait to appear more, more natural if you can't see that it's being pulled along, one would think. Another, jo another joke about fluorocarbon. Every time something comes out new, we just instantly got to go, go to it. Okay? Why the hell would you use fluorocarbon sinks on its own? If you use fluorocarbon on a floating lure, it'll pull that nose down on that lure, and that lure won't do half the job it will with regular mono. Trust me on that. So that's interesting. There's another. I bitched out the mirror lure rep because they're, they're one of my sponsors. And they made that little old bitty topwaters they're making now, little mental looking jobs. I said, that thing retrieves like a dead snail. And he said, what are you using for leader? And I said, 30 pound four carb. And he said, why in the name of God would you do that? Because that's a lightweight floating lure. And then you're putting 30 pound four carb to pull it down directly on its nose. So it's going to die and roll and be inappropriate. This product, <coughs> this product here 
It is a new product. It's the only one like it on the market. And did, by the way, did Ultima contact you? Ultima, I never did contact them because I've been into VA. They want to shove something up my ass, and I'm not really. Ultima or the VA? Colostomy skull. I'm an expert. I'm an expert. I had no yeah, like, We've all had those. They're not bad. No, they're not bad. <laughs> I'm trying to get them for 2800 a month, so. <laughs> what you've got to watch is the only time it can be done is when you feel like. <laughs> well, I made sure I Actually, I made sure I had a female doctor. You know? <laughs> Anyhow, this is a fluorocarbon, and if you look, it's got a pattern like that on the outside, so it leaves no top water imprint, and it's hollow. Sorry, it's not a fluorocarbon, it's a monofluor. So this is a clear line that floats on top of the water because it's got a hollow tube running up the inside of it, and it's also got a footprint that doesn't dent the water. So it's absolutely, for the fly fishermen, you've been looking at it, haven't you? That's going to be an absolute winner. But that, I taught Tyler to fish for the winter trout in, on the beach 15 years ago. And uh, then they came out with fluorocarbon. And, and I went to fluorocarbon. I'm a hot shit fishing guy. So Tyler's fighter Ralph is. Ralph's the zero. And uh, so he's using a mono and then for the first time Tyler began to beat me at my own game. Uh, totally unacceptable. And I began to look at what has changed. And Tyler said, I've been wondering about that and the only thing you've done is you've gone to fluorocarbon on your leader. We fish 51 and 52 suspending mirrors as slow as you possibly can. Those trout are suspended in that water column. They're not exactly on the bottom. That fluorocarbon was taking me out of their range down on the bottom. And I shot the fluorocarbon leader, made me a 25 pound dust mono, and I thought you kick in this boat. Just that simple. So you got to be aware. Slight chunk. You, you got these tackle pimps. I'm not going to sell anything. Who, who are just you? Sell your grandma's bonnet, you know. Do you know what's funny? We were talking about that with Ralph the other day. He was going on about how, like, very efficient, like a red and white shrimp tail, you know, jigging was years ago. Yeah, well, I've never seen him throw one. No, he won't. But the point is. That you don't see people use that anymore, do you? It's gone. And I mean, are they still as efficient? Is it that you've just lost faith in a particular colour or why a plug reacts? What do you think of that? The I asked Doug Berg, I said, he said, What's your favorite topwater lure, Billy? I said, it broke back. And he said, Wow, I might have two or three of them, but I hadn't used one in fifteen years. I said, You think they still don't catch fish? He said, sure they do, we just don't use them. Because what 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 is it really? A guide has to be seen as he's cutting edge technology all the time, trying to do better for his clients, right? That's the way a guide's perspective is. Right. Well, the general public says, Wow, these guys do it for a living, so they're using it, so we gotta do this too. It's not always right. I got a, a shed full of lures that don't work, I'll sell you to this one. <laughs> and and yeah, some really wonderful schemes and stuff. But what I have noticed, and I believe with all my heart, is the trout have some pack the lure manufacturing companies. <laughs> and I have far too many lures that you weren't going to catch a trout ten years ago without one. But they haven't caught a trout in eight years. And I think what happens is these fish are under such regular, tremendous usage stress, they become acclimated to a certain lure and won't hit it no more. They, they go, oh yeah, right, I remember that one, that one got choked. They won't hit it anymore. And then you come up with something that they... they